everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an extreme budget meal plan. I am making 25 meals for under $30 or $2 per serving or under for each meal. So this extreme meal is going to be an Italian sausage soup. I have about one pound of some mild Italian sausage. I'm actually only going to use two and a half links because the rest is going to be used for a different meal. So I'm going to use two and a half links, about a half a pound of mild Italian sausage. I have some homemade vegetable broth here. It's red because I used red onions to make the to make the broth but if you use yellow onions the scraps of the yellow onions obviously it will be clear it will not be red but it does not alter the taste in any bit it tastes just the same it's just just as delicious just the coloring is a little off which it won't matter in this recipe because we're going to be using a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes so that red color will be just the same as that so no big deal so a can of crushed tomatoes, some green beans. I'm adding some coconut cream to the soup to make it a little bit creamy. You can make this to be a little bit cheaper. This is going to be about $1.50 a serving. Very economical. Soup is the way to go when you want some extreme budget meals. Um, oh, we're missing something. Hold on. This is what we're missing. We're missing some pasta. This is a two pound bag of pasta. I am probably gonna use maybe not even a pound, maybe three quarters of a pound of pasta for the soup. We'll see, we'll see how much. I just go by eyeballing everything. So we need some pasta. I'm going to use an onion to saute up with the sausage to give it more flavor. And I was saying about the coconut cream because I'm dairy free, this is what I'm using. But you could also use milk, um, heavy whipping cream, you could use half and half, whatever you prefer to cream it up. But again, you don't need to make it a cream based. You could just make it a broth based and it will be just as delicious, a little less quote unquote heavy because it won't be creamy. But I'm going to prefer this this time and a can of corn. You could also add in zucchini squash that would also make this soup very delicious but i was just going to stick with these vegetables this time again to make it a little bit more economical so the first thing i am going to do is to chop up my onion i'm going to use the whole onion and i am going to get it cooking in my um what do you call it into my Dutch oven, could not think of that, into my Dutch oven pot and get that all cooking up. And then I will get the pasta cooking in a separate bowl because I don't want all that starch um, inside the soup and I don't want the broth to cook off. So um, I am going to cook the pasta separately. And then once the pasta is done, I will add that into the soup and then I will add uh, all my vegetables. This is gonna take no time at all. So uh, let's get started. And remember, when you have scraps of onion or gar like fresh garlic peel or carrots or celery, make sure to save that. Put it in the freezer in a container and keep it to make vegetable broth, which is what I am going to do. And I will show you in this video because there's going to be another um, Another meal that I am going to be cooking chicken, and then I am going to use the scraps of this, and plus other things that I have, plus those chicken bones, to make some delicious broth. So always save your scraps, because then you get double use out of them. So I just wanted to say this was the most delicious soup I have made in a long time. It was so good for being so economical and so cheap you don't need a ton of different ingredients or fancy ingredients to make good food um, just make what you like what your family likes and what they prefer and it will be delicious so just wanted to let you know this was definitely a winner
here is the final soup. It tastes so good, and this is a large portion. So this will definitely make some great leftovers. Soups are always great for leftovers. Personally, sometimes I don't like leftovers, but there are certain things that I do not mind when I make something in a larger batch for a leftover, and soup is one of them. Chili is another. So yeah, this is a great economical extreme budget meal for $1.50 a serving. The next extreme budget meal is going to be a cilantro lime chicken with some wild rice. I have two leg quarters here. They were um, on sale at Aldi. There was four of them in the pack for under $5. So very economical. I'm just going to season them up with some salt, pepper, some garlic, some lime juice, and some cilantro, and maybe a little bit of onion powder. And I'm going to let them marinate in the refrigerator for a full, um, at least two hours possibly four at this point, but the longer the better. So the flavors infuse into the chicken and it will cook up all delicious. And then I'm just going to make some of this long grain wild rice. It says there are three servings in this container, but I'm just going to make it into two. Why not? So you'll have a serving and a half and each, and that is going to be the dinner this evening, so I'm just going to chop up my cilantro, juice my limes, grate a little bit of that lime zest. The lime zest will just add more flavor, more lime flavor into the chicken, chop up my garlic, and get it in my refrigerator. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Then what I like to do is to place the bag right into a bowl just like that just in case anything would leak and then every hour or so you can turn it over just so the juices distribute evenly. And then just place it in the fridge for two to overnight. It can go stay in there for overnight too. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open All right, so here is the meal. You definitely have more than two servings of this corn. Probably about three, but still you have two servings of this. And this was a little over $2 a serving for this meal. So another very economical extremely budget-friendly dinner that you can have and look at that chicken doesn't it look delicious and that skin oh boy delicious so the next budget-friendly meal that I am going to put together I'm just going to show you a couple of different versions of what you can do so we still have these two big chicken quarters left, the ones that has the leg and the thigh attached. So there is a, a lot of meat there that can definitely be used. And then I have some of these mixed frozen vegetables, my seasonings, and then also I have all these vegetable scraps, some celery, onion, probably some garlic in there, um, maybe a few carrots that I'm going to make a good and delicious chicken broth. Now, what I'm going to do is make the chicken broth and freeze the chicken that comes off of these bones for another use. You could do that when you wouldn't even need these vegetables. So you could make your own broth and freeze it and freeze the meat for another meal or you could just make a whole chicken soup, chicken vegetable soup out of this. So there's multiple things you can do here. 
Um, so that is what I'm going to do. The first thing I am going to is heat up some oil on the stove into this pot. And then I am going to sear the chicken um, skin side down for about three to five minutes just to get those flavors in there and get that a nice um, flavoring onto the skin of the chicken. And then I'm going to add a bunch of water, probably four to six cups of water, at least whatever fills this pot up, basically. Fill the pot up, then add in all of these scrapped vegetables here and some seasonings, and then I'm going to let it boil at least an hour, probably closer to an hour and a half. And then I am going to strain all of this stuff out of the broth, including the chicken. And then I'm going to freeze the broth. And then I am going to let the chicken cool. And I am going to pull all of the chicken off of here and then put it in a freezer bag and freeze it for another use. Like I said, a couple of different versions here on what you can do. But this soup will like, probably yield at least four servings, maybe even more, depending if you wanted to put some noodles inside of it or not. This is super ep economical, super budget friend friendly, and especially when you save your scraps, it doesn't cost you anything instead of throwing them away and you'll get a delicious broth out of it. All right, so let's do that. Let's sear the chicken for a couple of minutes and then get the rest of the stuff into the pot. So after making all of these recipes, I realized that for the sausage soup and then the pasta bake, you'll see me making here in a little bit. Um, there may have been a little bit more pasta than you need for those recipes. So my suggestion, if you would follow this meal plan um, exactly, I would do a third of the pasta in the Italian um, sausage soup. I would do a third of the pasta in this, the chicken noodle soup. And then I would do a third of the pasta in the Italian. Italian or into the baked pasta dish. So that is just my opinion after making all of these recipes. in my broth to freeze. I'm using these super cubes. They are wonderful. They're silicone and easy for the broth to pop out once they're frozen. So in the right one, I'm doing one cup measurements and on the left, I'm doing half cup measurements. So you could have this as a soup, a whole meal, or you can freeze the parts like I am, but this is a great economical dinner. So for the last extreme budget meal, I am making something basically that is just dump and go. Um, it's going to be a pasta bake. So the rest of the pasta here, which is about a pound, I am going to uh, cook up al dente. So then we can bake it in the oven. And I did forget something. I always forget something. Hold on. All right, so I forgot the mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna cook up the pasta al dente. We are going to mix it with this tomato basil sauce. I am going to cook up the rest of this mild Italian sausage, and I am going to chop up some garlic, and I am going to top it with the mozzarella cheese. Since everything is going to be baked, it is super easy. I will just dump everything into my baking pan, and I will cook it on probably 375, 400, for about 20 minutes, just till everything is all incorporated. The cheese, this is dairy-free cheese, um, which makes this a little bit more expensive than other, um, if you would use regular dairy cheese, but not by much, not by much. So um, just to get this into the oven, get the cheese all nice and melty as much as it can since it's dairy-free, and then that will be dinner, and that will be at least six servings, 
and I am even going to make a side dish. So let me show you that too. I am just going to be making a simple tomato and cucumber salad. I am going to mix up my own dressing, a little bit of olive oil, red wine vinegar, some salt and pepper and some garlic powder, super simple dressing, and let that marinate while my pasta is cooking and the pasta is in the oven and it will be nice and delicious. All of this is under $2 a serving. Just as a little tip, I like to scoop out the center of the cucumbers, especially when they're um, very soft because all those seeds, they just produce a lot of water and personally, I don't like it like that. So I'm just cutting these up into small cubes. And with the tomatoes, I like to do the same thing. I like to take the seeds out, especially when they are juicy. And I'm just going to cut these into large cubes, too. All right, to make my dressing, I basically just eyeball everything. I'm just going to put, and this can stay in the refrigerator if you make too much. And you don't even have to dress the salad right away if you don't want to. But I think it kind of marinates the vegetables, especially if you don't eat it all at once. I kind of do, I don't know, like I said, I eyeball everything. I don't ever put as much oil as recipes call for when making my salad dressings, personally. I like it a little bit more tangy, a little bit more vinegary, more than oily. This is garlic powder. So just put it to your preference. Some salt, some pepper. And you know what? I'm going to add a little Dijon mustard. Why not? You could buy your own dressing. That too. Some dressings are pretty cheap, like a Walmart brand or even an Aldi brand. But if you have and you make your own salad dressings at home all the time, you're going to have this stuff on hand. And in the long run, it makes it all a lot cheaper to make it on your own. Plus, there are a lot less preservatives when you make dressings on your own. Obviously, the preservatives make everything last longer. So, mix that all up. Actually, I guess I should give it a little taste. Get a spoon. Mm. No, I think it's actually good. Well, let me add just a tinge more olive oil. Mix that up. And just pour it onto the salad. Actually, I'm just going to use it all. And then I am going to stick it in, whoa, stick it in the refrigerator and let it marinate and soak up all this good dressing. All right, into your baking dish, I am going to add a little bit, oh, that pasta sauce. There we go. A little pasta sauce on the bottom, just so the noodles don't stick, just like that. Next, I am going to dump the noodles in. Oh, jeez. All right, I guess I needed a little bit bigger pan, but we're gonna try to make it work. I dumped the sauce in with the sausage. I drained a little bit of grease that there was out of here. And now I'm just going to dump and go. I told you, super simple, super easy. And let's try our best to mix this without getting it everywhere. Yeah, I definitely should have had a different, different baking dish. Let's try to make it work. Yes, I always forget something. Totally forgot the garlic, so forgot to put it in with the meat. So it'll cook up. It won't be raw. So just mix that all through. All right, next we are going to add the cheese on top. All right, 
so here it is nice hot and steamy right out of the oven so that is about a portion and look at all of that that is left that is a deep pot there's at least six more servings on there if you have little ones you can stretch it out even farther um, remember that's dairy free cheese it doesn't look like it's melted but it's definitely creamy it looks dry but it's not so there we go there is the last extreme budget meal thank you everyone for watching this video I hope you found some extreme budget meal inspiration and I will see you in my next one bye bye mm -hmm.